Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 45-year-old female who recently fell, injured her thumb. She got pain and swelling, and we see that the main problem is over on the ulnar side of the thumb. This is the distal phalanx of the thumb, proximal phalanx. This is the first metacarpal bone to get oriented, and these are the thenar muscles here, and this is the ulnar collateral ligament. We should see a linear band that's dark here, but instead the ulnar collateral ligament is completely torn. And we don't see it here, but if we go to this view, we see the UCL that's retracted proximally. Instead of being longitudinal and straight, it's balled upon itself here, kind of folded upon itself. Makes a little U here. This is part of the thenar muscles and the adductor ponderosus that comes over here to attach. And it looks like it's retracted back and folded. And again, this is not going to heal because it's not in a straight line. Um, it's too far away from the distal attachment. So this is something we call a stenner lesion, where there's um, the adductor ponderosus is in the way. This can't possibly get all the way back to heal. It's balled up and kind of stuck down here. And when it's stuck down here, they have to do surgery, uh, straighten it out, put it back in a normal position so it can heal. And so this is a really important surgically to let them know that this is ruptured. And not only is it ruptured, it is not in a normal position. It's retracted back and balled upon itself, and so it really cannot heal without surgical help. Now, they also have a tear of their radial collateral ligament. It's either a high-grade partial tear or maybe even a complete tear. It's an abnormal signal here, and they have one or two other findings here, so lots of things going on. The main thing I wanted to show you, though, was that UCL tear with the retraction and folding that will, will require surgery. Now, there's another finding that we can see on these short axis images. Here are the thenar muscles, they are strained, edematous, and I have an arrow and a little cortical avulsion fragment. So it looks like a little smile here. Well, the donor site is right here, and there's some patchy marrow edema. So this is a cortical chip fracture or avulsion fracture, which is retracted back. One of the thenar muscles attaches to here, and it pulled off. And there was one other finding, which was the ligament, I'm sorry, the uh, tendons of the thumb. We have one of the tendons here. This is the extensor pollicis longus is intact, but the extensor pollicis brevis was torn. We don't see that. This is a view here where we can see the extensor pollicis longus right there coming across, coming across, but the extensor pollicis brevis which should be in this region here and it should come over and we just don't see it. So the uh, Brevis is torn, and the extensor pollicis longus tendon is intact. So significant findings. This is that UCL that's torn. So it's probably it balled up here. That's why it's so much uh, so rounded. And this is over here on the radial side where the radial collateral ligament is also at least partially torn. And then finally, that cortical avulsion fracture. And that's it. Thank you so much.